Hello everyone and welcome to the Darkest Dungeon. I am Lucky Loremaster here at the Luckmore Estate. And the reason I sound like I'm having sex with a frog is because I have a head cold. More seriously though, <clears throat> I, uh, I'm not feeling great, but I'm going to record anyway because voila! Now, fun fact about uh, the game is that we recently had ourselves a patch, so things have changed a little bit, hopefully for the better. Alright, the full roster has now actually changed from 25 to 28, which is pretty nice, and uh, we also have a new feature in the stagecoach where we can upgrade, and you notice it lists everyone's experience level right here. You can also upgrade uh, to experience recruits. Once you have the weaponsmith and armorsmithing up to uh, a certain level, you can actually purchase upgrades so that uh, people will come in at higher levels of experience. So this will probably bring people in at level 2, maybe level 3 or 4. You just need to make sure at the guild and at the, uh, the weaponsmith, uh, or I should say the guild and the, um, the hell the place is called, the blacksmith, you have all the necessary upgrades and then you can get experienced recruits. So I'm definitely going to be focusing on getting some deeds so I can get weaponsmithing and armorsmithing up to those nice sexy levels considering I already have uh, instruction already up to a decent amount. Alright, so that's pretty cool. Um, I guess we should probably get started then on an adventure. Uh, so with the extra people that we got, I am still looking for a... What is it? Um, a plague do oh, no, a, yeah, plague doctor, Beth, and this will allow us to have three new people. Now, um, one of these will go to one of the classes I wasn't able to get a duplicate of, which was the leper, the um, which is either going to be, I should say, the leper, the man at arms, or the bounty hunter. And the last two slots may go to the brand new class of the game, which is called the Antiquarian, which is yet another female hero. Hopefully we'll be seeing her uh, next week once we do an adventure, so let's hop in and do a quick short adventure and see if we can get her to appear in the following week. Um, yeah, that should be good to do. We can probably get some gold and some deeds, and what is this, a blighting satchel, which is a, a decent item for the... That actually looks great. Now, one of the things that's actually neat is they changed it so that the actual item reward you get from going to a place is actually randomly generated. It's no longer just supposedly crests or busts or uh, portraits or whatever, depending on which region you go to, which is actually pretty cool, I think. Um, it still seems to show that in the reward section, but maybe it's different than what I suspect. Either way, let's get out some little, little heroes and uh, go on a fun little adventure here. Um, well, actually, our little, little heroes seem to be pretty messed up right now. Yeah, they look to be all be drinking and otherwise preoccupied. Huh. All right, well, I guess we're going on a veteran-level dungeon then. We could go after the hag. That might be a lot of fun. It could give us a sacred skull for our vessel. Hmm. Yeah, I think we could do that. question is, is that do we have people that are... Uh, Experienced enough, I think, to really to handle it. And I think we do. We could take out, uh, let's see, Deanne, myself, and, uh, hmm. Yeah, I think Max would be a good addition. Along with, uh, maybe me and then Stanislav and Mickey. Send out our most experienced adventurers, hopefully, to go, go crush the uh, the hag in the veteran level dungeon here in the Weald. We could give that a shot. It's only going to be medium length missions, so it shouldn't be too terribly long. Alright, let's buy plenty of supplies, because we know we're going to need them. No, we always need lots of supplies. Okay, some of these, some of these, a couple of those, and torches always valuable. Alright, I think this is probably a decent setup right here. I don't think we're missing anything, really. We got that, we got that, we got that, we got that, 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 that. Cool. Alright, I say we'll set out. Uh, first thing before we do, though, we should probably set up trinkets. That's actually pretty important. And it's kind of silly that we haven't done that yet. Alright, we're just close this. Alright, trinkets. Trinkets for our manitars here. We don't have any class-specific trinkets for him. I thought we did. 
Well, I guess we don't. That's sad. I guess we just haven't found them yet. Oh, wait, here, here we do. Yes, the longevity eye patch. That's a fantastic item for him. And uh, if I'm going to be playing the tank, well, then I suppose I need items that encourage that. More accuracy to melee skills is actually probably pretty solid, considering that's most of what I do up front, so I think that's a pretty good setup here. As for our lovely healer Deanne, well, we always need, she needs lots of de-stressing uh, items. So I'm going to give her the area box, which is just less stress damage in general. And let's see, what shall we give her on top of that? This gives her less damage as well, but also less death blow resistance. I don't know if that's been required. Uh, you know what, she's a healer, she'll be safe. Alright, everything to deal with stress, because Deanne, wow, she is the stress queen. Alright, and uh, let's see, Max here, our plague doctor, I know we have some decent uh, unique trinkets here for him. He's got the blasphemous vial, which is always sexy. And the rock gut sensor, more accuracy for a bit less hit points. How many hit points? Only one hit point lost. That's actually not bad. And with a big accuracy bump like that, that's pretty sexy. Alright, and finally, uh, Stanislav and Mickey. Here we go, what can we give him? Um, we can give him the agility whistle, more dodge, more speed, a little less debuff resistance. That's good, so he can go first. And hopefully to give them a bit of a damage buff is what I'm hoping to do. We haven't think it's good for that. That's bonus hit points. That's bonus speed and damage, but also takes a bit more stress. But we also have sweet, sweet Mickey here, and Mickey is great at treating stress. So I'm going to think the Crescendo Box is a good combination here. Alright, good. So we got that all set up. Now we just make sure the abilities are right. Okay. Let's take a look at me here. I'm going to be up front. I should be able to crush. Rampart. Bellow can debuff the enemies. Retribution, obviously, for counterattacks. Defenders guarding allies when needed. That's pretty good. And the command and bolster are basically just buffs. Should I be able to guard allies instead of to bellow? Let's see, lowering their dodge and speed. That's pretty nice, and it does affect the whole enemy team. I do have a lot of hit points now because of that. It does get 30% protection, that is pretty nice. And I think I'm gonna go with that for now. That should be a good combination. Alright, uh... Alright, if Deanne's gonna be in the back row, Judgment, Dazzling Light, Divine Grace, Divine Comfort. Uh, obvious choices. Nothing really to argue here. Alright, uh... Work in that row, she could do Noxious Blast, Play Grenade, Blinding Gas for the back row, Battlefield Medicines to stop Blights and Bleeds. Could go with Incision, but at the price of what? Uh... Blinding Gas and Noxious Blast... Or no, Blinding Gas and Play Grenade only work on the back row. Oh, but I do like the fact that she can, yeah, you know, Max can really do some nasty incision strikes with those. Uh, and now there's Emboldening Vapors, which has actually become a surprisingly strong buff. I think I'm going to take off Emboldening Vapors and go with Incision for now. See what kind of damage that uh, Max can put out. And uh, Stanislav and Mickey, here we are in the second row. We could... Let's see, Lick Wounds is uh, obvious. Target Whistle reduces enemy protection, which is good for dealing with all those enemies with lots of protection on them, so that's actually good to carry. Combined with Hound's Harry and Hound's Rush, yeah, I think that's actually probably all set for him. Great, we're good to go. Uh, let's let's set on the adventure. Come on. Her knowledge of horticulturalism and its role in various arcane practices impressed me greatly. My licentious impulse gave way to a genuine professional respect, and together, we began to plant, harvest, and brew. Aww, uh, he stopped lusting after her, starting mm. respecting her for her, her knowledge. It's sweet. Isn't that sweet? Looks like things did not turn out terribly well for her, though. There is method in the wild corruption here. 
it bears a form both wretched and malevolent. I will take your word for it, narrator, and it looks like if we are one of going for that witch, we're going to have to go all the way around here. And basically, it looks like there's two rooms at most we could skip, so... I think we're in it for the long haul with a setup like that. We just have to make sure we get there in decent condition, and if we can't get there with a couple extra rooms, we need to be spent. then we're in trouble. Hopefully we can get there, though, without getting too messed up. We did bring plenty of torches. On we go. Oh, we got a lucky scout. What's waiting for us? Oh, we got a trap, a room fight. Ooh, this actually leads to another room fight. Hmm. That's trouble. Let's see, do we want to burn a shovel on digging up graves? I'm kind of curious here. Yeah, we could find out what's in there. Might be some pretty sweet treasure. Wealth beyond measure. Yeah, that was worth it. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. That was definitely worth it. All right, uh, Stan and Mickey, you guys can get that trap. Thank you very much. And we are going right into a room battle. This is a curio of uh, hallway battle and then a room battle, so yeah. Considering we got a boss coming up, they are that's definitely getting skipped. Good thing we got that scout. Ah, nasty thugs. Well, we can do something about that. Do any of these guys have protection? This guy has 25%, but he's not very tough. Uh, I think we should just send uh, Mickey after this guy in the back and get him messed up real good. Impressive. Alright, well done, guys. Rip that guy a new one, and the bleed's gonna kill him. He's only got one hit point. <laughs> He's dealt with. Alright, let's try a dazzling light to get a stun in. Alright, uh, let's see. 70 versus 45. Yeah, we got him out of the fight. Now just this big ugly fella. Alright, I think we could stun him. Yeah, it's probably best just to pound this guy down as quick as possible. Uh, he felt that one, I think. Alright, maybe we can get, even get an incision going. He's pretty weak against bleed, actually, now that it looks... Hey, take a look at it. Not bad. Yep, here comes the bleed. Rain of whips. Oof. Let's see, we got a couple of bleeds. Wow, the bleeds are actually quite strong here. I'm not liking that at all, but... Eh, what are you gonna do? Alright, we should probably get rid of this guy in the back before he gets some nasty combos in. Oh, poor Mickey missed. Sorry, Mickey. Slice and dice, thankfully dodged. Alright, so how about we get a play grenade on the helm? Let's see, that's four damage around. That's pretty good. Punishment? Oof. Oh, we're dodging like crazy. Thanks to that whistle. Yes, D, you're bleeding. Everybody's bleeding. Isn't it horrible? Get some uh, dazzling white on this guy. Or he'll just dodge, you know. Why not? He definitely needs to get killed. Alright, that'll definitely help put him on his way, but it's not, uh, not quite everything. Let's do one more house rush on him, see if we can get him. Continually on There we go. Destroy them all. Alright, I'm not really likely to stun this guy. Uh... So let's just do a group deal. Preferably one more effective than that, but okay. Rain of whips again. Ones and twos and lots of bleeds. Flick. Look at all those bleeds. You are the bleedinator. Now let's make it pay for it. Alright, this is actually a time where Battlefield Medicine is good. Who's got the worst? It's like Stan and Mickey. So, there goes that bleed. Your bleed is about done. My bleed is actually pretty weak. So, um, uh, yeah. Go team! Alright, and now he's focusing on... Such ooh. a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Poor Max, what did he ever do? Damn! He didn't deserve that. He didn't deserve that one bit. Alright, we nearly got this guy killed. Is anyone else suffering from a bad bleed? That's only gonna be two hit points. No big deal, let's go for the incision. 
prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Very nice. That actually worked out pretty well. Here, have some food. A little bit of food never hurt anybody. And let's take a look in this nice uh, ancient coffin. Ta-da! Treasure! Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Uh, hmm. We've got uh, to dump something to take those bus. Uh, I suppose we're going to have to chug some holy waters, friends. I mean, they're just uh, too useful not to take them. So there we go. We'll swap out the that there and then continue on our way. Let's see what this curio is in the hallway. Oh, hunger striking already. What do we have here? Packs already been looted. Oh well. So we're just heading up to a room battle it seems. But I'd say we're reasonably prepared. Let's uh, light up torches. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Ooh, I... Oh, thank goodness we have the surprise. I freaking hate Nashers. These are the tough versions too, which is even worse. Is anyone having protection? No, these guys are super dodgy, and wow, she's dodgy too. So, let's just try to make them all bleed, I guess. Unless they all just want to dodge us, make us look like idiots. That sucks. Alright, let's try to kill them then as quickly as possible. Alright, that's a pretty good hit. Uh, can we get a judgment? Maybe call down on this one? Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Alright, that's one out of the way. Fast. That I like. Let's see, uh, play grenade or should we go for the incision? Incision. Mm -hmm. Let's try it. There we go. Solid hit. Nice. Well done. Alright, here comes the rabbit rush. No diseases, come on, we don't need any diseases. Oof. Curse of vulnerability. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Uh-oh. And they're marked now, that's bad. That's real bad. Oh uh, crap. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. And they're gonna go first too. Because they have a speed of nine. Which is crazy. And she has a speed of what is it? She has a speed of nine too? Wow, this whole team is fast. Well, now it's time for our vicious counter strikes. Uh, let's do some group healing here. That's what we really want right there. Okay, let's send the hound. It's a rush. Send Mickey to finish this one off. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Yeah, I'm liking that. Gotta get rid of these little disease carriers. It's pretty much worse than stress in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, you got a bit of pain, I know, I know. Just do some incisioning already. Press this advantage. There we go. Give them no quarter. And now she's all by her lonesome. And uh the round is fresh and somehow we want initiative. Oh, I guess because we both have nine speed, I guess you just rolled higher. Uh yeah, have a have a dog. Big angry Mickey dog. Got ya. Alright, she is going for the fitted sensor. Ew. Luckily we resisted the blight. And I think it's about time that maybe you cured your uh, plague problems. There you go. And uh, uh, yeah, some divine comfort probably couldn't hurt anybody. And then little old slow me will just get to bash you in the face. Darn, it wasn't enough. And the bleed is not quite enough to kill you, too. That stinks. And luckily, we're getting good resistances here, so I guess I can't complain about that. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. All right, what are we swapping out for gold? Because that's a nice amount of gold, and I'm not saying no to it. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. All right. Damn, that is not a lot of options here. I guess we'll have to toss out the anti-venom, which is a damn shame. Take the gold. And uh, it's an unlocked strong box, so we don't need to be using the... Uh... A handsome reward for a task well performed. Oh, I thank you. All right, we got a lucky scout. What's ahead? A curio, a trap, empty room, curio, a barrier, and then another fight for Trisha. 
Not bad at all. Let's take a look at what we have waiting for us here. We have left luggage. It has a lock on it. Did we manage to bring any keys? No, we didn't. And it's trapped. But luckily we resisted the plate. Man, Stan and Mickey are all over these disarms. My stress is getting a little high on me and Max. I'm a little bit worried about that, but we do have a a fire fire camp we can do just before the boss fight, so that uh, will help a lot with that. All right, what's going on over here? Nice treasure. Yep, stashed heirlooms. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Damn. Paid for in blood. We are just taking, getting so many heirlooms. It's one painting. Let's see, can we go through enough torches? The way is lit. Yes. The path is clear. We, we require only the strength to follow it. Alright, dig our way through the barriers. And we're gonna have a fight waiting for us in here. Gonna be a room battle, and then after that there's a battle, curio and a battle, or just two curios in an empty room. Well, I think I know which way I'm going, considering we're waiting for a witch here. On we go. Ooh, this could be messy. Even if we do have the surprise, these this has a lot of protection and these have protection too. That actually really sucks. Alright, but I do know for a fact that getting rid of the protection of these things and killing them fast is more important, so... Get that one! Alright, now he's marked and with less protection. So they are definitely exposed to the pain right now. So we will bring all the pain down on these suckers. And I can hit him like this. Oh yeah! That protection isn't doing you any good anymore. Especially when we got plague grenades. Oh wait, shit, you guys are resisting against that. Can you incision? No. Uh, what is it, 80 versus 110? Uh, it actually probably makes more sense to do an incision. Alright, here comes the blight. Ugh. And they're marking their prey. Thankfully, there are none of those uh, fungal zombies. Slime smack's not that bad. It does have a chance to stun, so that is kind of worrying. But uh, we just need to get the protection down, and then everybody else can spend their time finishing them off in a very violent and horrible way. All right, let's get some divine comfort going on for everybody. Preferably more effectively than that, DM. But you know. Can you do? This guy needs to go. Goodbye. All right, that is just little fella in the back. All right, we got a big slime coming in. Ooh, thankfully, not too much damage there, but we do get a debuff against speed. And there is more blight stacking up in the back. Oh, and we've got ennui. I think ennui is a disease. Let's check. Yeah, you know, ennui is a disease. Negative twenty-five percent virtue chance. Ooh, that sucks. That sucks really bad. We're actually going to have to probably use some battlefield medicine to deal with that. Whoa! Never mind, we're going to use that on uh, Deanne there, because she's... Oh, wow, it actually did them both! That's awesome. Okay, well, that was problem solved. All right, let's do the Hound's Rush and uh, get rid of this guy. Every little bit counts. I resist the bleed. I don't think there's any way I can hit him in the back. No, so I'm just going to start slamming this thing down. It has pretty good stun resistance. I maybe set up a retribution so it focuses on me. Even though I am already marked, but whatever. Counterattacks are going to be helpful. Alright, so let's see. I guess we're going to do a incision here. Damn, you missed. Dodgy bastard. Big slime coming in. Coming in with a big smack, but I smack him right back. Um, yep, general healing all around is probably a good idea. Okay, keeping everyone steadily... steadily upwards. Oh, jeez. Luckily resisted yet another disease there. Come on, get rid of that guy. Perfect damage. Stan and Mickey saving the day. Yes, I know, the blight is horrible, but uh, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Just like that. Every little bit of hit points counts. Alright, do Battlefield Medicine. Hopefully we'll do both. And... Yep, did both. Oh god, I am loving that. Did they change that completely? So that it does... 
Yeah, it does the self and it does the other person. That's amazing. Oh no, and this thing is starting to spawn little friends. And even, no, the little friends don't have protection though, so that's pretty good, thankfully. Oh, just short of enough to kill it. That stinks. Alright, well, we're definitely going to use the target whistle to get rid of that protection. There we go. So now that one is marked and much more vulnerable to attack. Obviously need to keep up the divine comfort on Deanne. Alright, one good smack here and then a couple for this thing and we should be able to kill it. Alright, uh, don't really need to use his move to get rid of that. Just focus on hurting this thing. And incision here would be good. There we go. Now it's just this thing all by itself. Come on guys, resist that stun. Alright, good resistance is there. I'm happy with that. Okay, now we need to make this big boy bleed. The ground wow. Breaks. Well done, guys. Well done. I am loving that stuff. Stan and Mickey here to save the day. Oh crap, is it going to make another big one? Oh, thankfully it's just a small one. I was worrying about that for a second. It's like, oh no, not another one. Alright, uh, incision kill it. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. And just one person probably can take this thing out with a lucky hit. Let's go for the Hound Rush. Alright, so we got good damage on it. One more attack from somebody else, and yeah, me. Smack. Annihilated. Alright. The light, the promise of safety. Oh, wow, and we even need to make room for Cress. That stinks. Alright, well, what are we dropping this time? Uh, why do you still have freaking debuffs until end of quest? Negative damage until end of quest? Can we use the medicinal herbs for that? It doesn't look like we can. Oh, it sucks so much. I don't know if that was the trap or something? Yeah, one portrait, portrait versus six crests. I don't know. Uh, I think I'm gonna take... Yeah, I think taking the portrait, considering they're so much rarer than crests, is the best choice here. And it's trapped. And thankfully you resisted the blank. Oof! Pick the right person to take a look in there. Empty crate. Nothing eventful in there. Pack's already been looted. Well, it wasn't particularly rewarding coming this way, but we did manage to dodge two battles. So, <clears throat> that's probably the smart decision. Alright, let's do some scouting. We got uh, curios and another empty room, so we definitely uh, cut ourselves a lot of grief coming this way. Alright, this is what medicinal herbs are all about. Cleaning up the meat and getting some extra food. Finding wow. the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Or just eaten. Yoink. Oh, we still have two food left? Here, can you have one? There you go. Everybody stuffed to the brim. Uh, well, I guess we'll just toss out the other medicinal herb, because there's no way we're going to need more food. Alright, more treasure. Damn. We are going through this stuff fast. If only treasure could staunch the flow. Otherworldly corruption. Yeah, something tells me it's not going to do that, though. <coughs> Sorry for the cough. Just, uh, that's how it is when you got a sinus infection, sore throat, all that good stuff. Whoa, twitching maggots and a nice overgrown spitter. Thankfully, they're all surprised. They're dodgy, but kind of slow. I mean, not overly slow, but not particularly fast either. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can get a judgment call coming down on uh, the maggots. Alright, not a bad hit. Not a bad hit at all. Um, yeah, Hound's Rush. Could we actually kill one of these outright with this? Yeah, we could. Another one falls. Wayne says another one falls. <laughs> Alright, there's a little bug in the patch. They'll probably fix that pretty soon. And this little fella right here. Back to the pit. Alright. Don't think he's going anywhere. This expedition at least promises success. Alright, you drink that. Feel better about yourself. 
Oh, we got mummified remains. Thankfully, we do have some bandages to protect our hands. And we got treasure. Not bad. Do we don't know if there's going to be a fight in here. Either way, this is our room uh, resting spot. What do we have? Curio, a battle, and then the real battle. Let's begin. Begins. All right. Well, if there's a place for us to rest, it's right here. I don't want to have to backjack through an entire hallway. That's just going to be needless stress. So, rest we shall. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable, rats in a maze. All right. I definitely don't want an ambush. So, sanctuary. Safety be upon us. Let us be veiled in holy light. All right. So now we're safe from that. We're not really doing too bad on stress. Um, let's see, doesn't someone have a disease? Remove target disease. Aha! Uh -huh. The cure. Self only. Well, she did get on Wii, so why not? Injection shall fortify against any internal assault upon my flesh. Very good. We don't need heals, and stress is not really a unique skill. Uh, therapy hound could reduce everybody's stress, so that's actually pretty good. Good job, Mickey. Always oh, cheering up an affectionate nuzzle should put your arms right. And, uh, hmm. That actually gives him damage and protection. That's nice. And this gives everybody damage. We only have time for one. This gives everybody damage and everybody a chance for more crits. Everybody doing more damage is probably better. A lifetime of practice shall leave more to learn. Yes, indeed. Alright, so everybody's rested up. We do still have the dog treats, and we are going to be using them during the fight. I will not forget those at all. That's going to be very important. We won't need the shovel, and so we're going to get started. We are healthy. There's no chance of foraging for timber now. The rations will carry us. Thank the gods. May we find victory. Okay. Now, uh, this might seem kind of funny, but we're actually going to, sorry, end the episode here. And uh, I'm going to pick up in the next episode, because uh, I actually need to be moving my uh, where I'm actually recording, because otherwise I'm going to probably get interrupted. So, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll pick up next time, and uh, we'll definitely be going to take down the hag. That should be make for some good times. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you all soon. Goodbye for now.